What's up guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another Imperator episode for you. We're on part 12 and uh, we are now waiting, it's kind of almost a waiting game, looking for which of the uh, armies is going to, well which of the armies, which of the factions is going to be better to go for, Phrygia or Egypt. Egypt is looking like the likelier candidate with a smaller army but it's got a very large manpower and it's got a decent fleet. While Phrygia has a larger army, less manpower, a lot of money and a smaller fleet than Egypt and it is nearer and more accessible to get to. Thing is with Phrygia, they're very very strong and they have, could just buy a load of mercenaries so they could easily get that army size up quite easily so I'm going to possibly wait a little while and see whether they will break up a little bit and if they don't then they don't but um we gotta we gotta wait because I don't think I can take on looking compared to the size of me compared to the size of Phrygia in Egypt I don't know whether I can take either of them on right now. But then that's what Alexander th Alexander thought, and look what he did. When took the bloody world on and w and did and won. Yeah, got there eventually. It's been a little while since I played Imperator, and I've been playing EU4 on my own. Well, not on my own, but uh, privately, and. Um, Yes, it's very different now. It looks so very different. So we'll just colonise that little random bit there of Dardania. Because we can always do with the extra land. Extra tax. So, um, so yeah, now we are looking a little better. Now we've not got that random little grey splodge in the middle of us. So the Seleucids also look like they're still going to have another rebellion. They look like they avoided their first one. But they're going to have another one anyway, so that's brilliant. So that's going to be 36 months away, so probably by the end of the episode we may have uh, had a Seleucid Rebellion. And this will break up probably in some way or another. Possibly. Who knows. No civil war, so it's going to be a rebellion. So it could just be like, I guess it just could be rebels that appear and a revolt happens. Yeah, probably will be that. Civil War will be probably when it all breaks up into different pieces. I'm not quite sure. I never really pay attention too much to what happens. Carthage is losing an award to the Brutier. How strong are Carthage? Fairly strong. They're kind of lacking in um, manpower. Um, yep, yeah, we'll put you in charge. You're pretty strong. Um... Yeah, yeah, on with the celebrations. If you can hear the slamming in the background, that's just flatmates coming and going. I'm sorry that I can't can't control them and tell them to be quiet. But, um, oh, we've got Egypt on trade. Yeah, okay, we'll trade in some stuff. Um, and then what? Uh, I could try and fabricate a claim, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I don't know. They're very, very. They're making the army even smaller. I don't really. Hmm. Don't know if I trust them. I'll fabricate a claim. I'll fabricate a claim. We have enough. I want to do it on the central delta. Oh, actually, no, I want to do it on the. What do I want to do it on? Central Delta, yeah. Central Delta sorted. Right, and someone else has died. And I think this is my heir, yeah. Philip Antropid's now in an army. My heir is now controlling an army. Excellent. Okay, so lots of people want to trade with me all of a sudden. That's that's great. Oh, martial advances, good. Um, army maintenance cost, what will I bring it down? Mm. I think I'll put manpower up. To be honest, manpower is always handy to have. Um, and then, yeah, sure, do that. Do that, do this. Right. So we've got 50,000 troops ready to go into Egypt, if I choose to make that my direction of attack. It looks like it probably is going to be my direction of attack. I kind of want to build the fleet a bit more, though. Let's get another nine in here. One, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Worrying signs when Pope Cup can't count. Right, so we're sorted there. The Gete are very, very big now to my north. They're probably my, my uh, I'm gonna have to keep a few armies, I think, around this area, just to make sure that they don't do anything. Can't even offer them a reliance because they would not want one. They're a major power, just like me. So we're now on 33 ago. Let's spend some money on marketplaces. Need to spend money to make money, they say. And it's very, very true. Spend money to make money. Oh, pirates here. Keep them away. So we're now building, uh, we're also building bigger forts over here, so to try and defend this part of the world. Can't build anymore. Just to keep out of my little enclave that I somehow stole from the breakup of Phrygia. Well, it wasn't even a breakup, really, it was a very minor one. Did I do too short again? Oh no, there's one more on the way, and there's one there. There we go, I got it perfect. I did worry now about my own counting. Okay, so they've got a lot of manpower. And their cohorts are staying fairly similar size. Could their eye ally with anyone to take them on? Probably not. How much you hate me a lot. It's the problem when you get to this point in like the game, everyone hates you because you're so big. Fridge you're probably the same, yeah. Even though they actually have a slightly positive view of me. Wow. And they're actually getting... Actually, no. They might have got rid of a few cohorts because their manpower's gone back up. They've got a little boy in charge as well. Yep, they're very nearly going to have a rebellion. And it's going to be a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be in the end of the episode. No, it's going to be like slap bang in the middle of it. Alright. Um, Armenia. Are you still like a relative? You are somehow like a still a relevant power. Wow, you hate me a lot, so that's never going to happen. Um, yeah, do that. Um, see, now they just shot their cohorts of shot back up. Because they're at war with Phrygia. Ooh, now is the time. Um, Clapper and Irons. Do I go to war with Phrygia or do I go to war with... Egypt. I think I go to war with Phrygia. <sighs> Don't know. Do I have a truce with them? Yes, I do. Don't actually have any claims. Fabricate a claim. On. We'll do Nicomedia. Or Byanthia, whatever it is. I'm going to go to war with them, I think. Apparently, I'm also still doing stuff for. <laughs> the rebels. I forgot about that. Uh, splendid event. Excellent. Right, so we're going to go down here. Who's fighting who? It's a war. Oh, it's a war of superiority. Ah, what a terrible idea from them. So I think I'm going to go for Egypt. Um, for Egypt another time. I'm only going for Phrygia this time because Egypt I have a bit more of a good relationship with. Um, and I'd rather keep that intact. So... That, that's literally the only reason I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to improve my relationship with them. Um, Phrygia are trying to produce more men, it looks like it, but they're do not going to succeed. Right, you come over here, you come down here. Um, pause quickly. Um, let's do this invention. Um, we'll do siege engineers, we'll make them better. Better at sieging quickly. Then declare war for Byanthia. And then we move you across here. And then the invasion begins, boys. And girls. Any girls watching? Right, so here we go. We've captured someone. We could get a huge fleet here. Oh, I think they docked. Just in time. Yeah, they docked in time. Ah, that's frustrating. Anyway, go back to here. Block any... They're not allowed to come across. No blessings of Hades, please. Q. 
Keep going this way. We need to win this war. Really, really need to win this war. Need to make some expansion soon. Otherwise, it's just a deadlock. Can you just come and kill this huge fleet off to victory? I don't know if I'm going to win that. I should win that. If I don't win that, I'm going to be very annoyed. Yeah, I, I'm going to win that. An unmarried ruler. Oh, he's not married. Well, um... Victorious. We destroyed stuff. Right, I'm just going to pause while I'm choosing a ma I'm just choosing a marriage for people, okay? Yeah, go with that one. Sure. She seems okay. Um, so Byanthia goes down here as well. Byanthia inferior. So I've got to take all that. Excellent. Okay, we can do this. We lost a few ships, but we can replace them. As of okay, he's going to come out and fight more. It seems excellent. Right. Whatever. Whatever you say, pal. So they're still. They've yeah. They've just increased their fleet by a lot. Um, let's not neglect the, the arts now. And we're in a big old battle again. Hurry up. Armies and please get there a lot quicker. I probably need to get movement on. Oh my gosh, the amount of armies is ridiculous from Phrygia. But we won. Excellent. Right. Is this part of Byanthia? No. We're, go we're pulling out of there. Thank you. There we go. Right. And then you're going to try and stop us here. You madman. So I might just take this in one go, and then we might go for Phrygia another day, because they're, they're not concentrating on... Actually, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, he got a cool trait. I just want to replenish, but I'm not getting a chance to replenish quick enough anyway. 21,000. Right, can you then also... Fascinating, military power. Excellent, right, you build another... One, two, three... Okay! Thank you, there we go. There's a lot of stuff going on now. Um, um, how's the big the fifth strata? So I'll just take them. We might need them later. I'm not quite sure how big the fifth strata is. Let's select, it's pretty big. 24 cohorts, that's okay. 24 is a nice number. Right, so when we take this, we get the war score, we'll shoot up. There we go, right. Could we take anything else? And probably not. We could probably get that, and we could get that. And they'd say yes to that, but I'd like to try and take more. I think. I'd like to try and take more. So, we carry on expanding. We're going to try and take as much as possible because we need to. Right. Now we're getting the ships back to replenish this fleet. And then, oh, another big stack here. Yep, yeah, I'm willing to take whatever that is that you're willing to give me. I don't know how much they gave me, but they gave me stuff. Okay, I huge expanded down here and expanded a bit up here. Wow, yeah, okay. So Fridge is in a bad state of affairs, it would seem. And then I'll send one of these back to Gute. Um Okay, Phrygia, we need um, you, dieted. Oh, how much? How come you hate me? I'm just going to slow it down a little bit because we've now got lots of things to maintain. You need to support the air. Uh, Phrygia. 
which is like here. Why did you not like? Um, probably because of uh, stuff. Um, probably because of a uh, lack of. Okay, cool. Um, probably because lack of a uh, religion in the right area and culture, I imagine. So let's quickly. What part of the world was it? It was. Well, there's quite a few places. I saw a player. So this just needs doing. This is just going to be some nitty gritty stuff that needs sorting out. But we've got a big war there, so that's excellent. That's what we needed. We needed uh, to expand, pretty much. What's this? Um, yeah, you can. Oh, we don't. Eh. Need to do some of this. Need to turn people into Macedonians, please. Macedonians, please. There we go. Um, I'm not sure how much that's going to ch help change it. Loranda really hates us. Where the hell's Loranda? Okay, here. Loranda hates us a lot. So Loranda can like us a lot now if I just keep doing all this. And look at the. Uh, my um, expansion is high, so that's why so many people hate me as well, currently. Which is no surprise. Okay, apparently everyone here is not Hellenic, which is interesting. But um, I'll, I'll slowly convert them. Certainly want to assimilate more people. This is just to slowly assimilate more people into the uh, uh, into Macedonians. Right. So now, what's what's the opinion generally now? Still hot. Um, still not liked. But that's probably because of aggressive expansion. So we'll let it just sort itself out a little bit, and um, I can always sort it out in my own time. After. Uh, after the episode, I'll maybe sort it out myself. And if it's still not sorted, well, then we have a problem. <laughs> but now we are bringing in the money. Look at that, 58 a turn. We're doing very, very well. So we've hugely expanded here. The um, forts that I like built here are now kind of redundant because they're no longer on the front line. But um, Fridge is now looking a lot less uh, healthy, and now Egypt's still at war with them. It's fighting in a very small... Not a small war, but um, it's slightly winning. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. The Seleucids are gone. <laughs> gone is the word that I'd use. They are, yeah, wow. Okay, so they're fighting, everyone's fighting the Seleucids, basically. Parthia, there's two Parthias now. Interesting. We've got a Hellenic Macedonian one, and we've got a Hellenic Parthian one. And who's blockading my port? Well, the cheeky, cheeky pirates are doing it. That's who. So you go and destroy them. Um, any cities full to rail? Where are the slaves? Oh, the slaves are over here. Excellent. On the other side of my empire. Excellent. So you're going to have to come down here. And then we can put the... Um, that up. And then you can go in there. Don't need so many armies here now. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, no, so we're no, got, no longer trading in wine. Oh. Do I now have a excess? I don't know. I'm not sure. I should have an excess um, thingy, but I don't. So let's get rid of these slaves. Also, let's just put an army around there, to be honest, just for now. Um, you'll... You can go there, so you're not starving. Now we've got an army over here, though it's probably unlikely we're going to need it. It's just ma mainly if um, barbarians appear. But they shouldn't be appearing anytime soon. I never asked, been asking for wine, so that's very interesting. Unless I just sent out a general thing saying, wine please. I'm not really sure how that's come up. But hey, it has. Very interesting. So yeah, now 
Okay, decisions, I bet it's going to say as well, because it's really broken. Negotiating with slaves. But the slaves aren't here, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it. That's very broken. Very interesting, though, that now it's looking a lot better from Macedon to Ergo East. Fridge is now a lot more broken up and a lot less powerful. Who's this? Who's starving? You're starving. And someone else is starving. Well, we'll build granaries for you then. Granary. Oh. We'll build one there. And we can't build one here, though. But probably just because of war, war exhaustion, so. Um, let's put you into port there. Highly militarized Dardanelles right now. Um, let's look quickly look at Phrygia. It's still going down, but what is the cause? Well, a fair few places. And it's the same in this part of the world. Well, this isn't Phrygia. This is Sicilia. This is Phrygia. Um, so, Derbe. Let's just say yes to that. Derbe. Derbe, Derbe, Derbe. Oh, it's just there. Brilliant. So I can't actually do anything about that. Um, I think it's just literally because of the high aggressive expansion. They're like, I really don't like that you've expanded so quickly. Can you please stop? I think that's what they're getting at. Oh, I can't actually do stuff in Derby. It's just that I was on citizens and there's no citizens. Strike the earth. Yep, sure. Have some, have some more population. Um, and then just convert some slaves as well, why not? Spending a lot of points right now. Um, so what do you now think, Frigio, of me? You think better or worse of me? You're still not happy. But 22%... Uh, yeah, it's looking at everything. It's just huge aggressive expansion. So we just need to let that cool down. I need to find something that's going to help. Uh, aggressive expansion impact. That might be one of them. Um, I'll go with that for now. Also, if any, I'm going to probably go for like happiness um, religion next. Like, instead of tax. Just because uh, those parts of the world aren't happy with me, basically. Let's put some granaries around, so that might help with happiness for slaves. There we go. Happiness for slaves might go up because of that. Um, okay, so you died. Very nice. I mean, it's not It's not nice you died at all. Sorry. Didn't mean that. Okay, so you're, you're Bazaar, and I've just realised. So, oh yes, so uh, I might want to put another one on stability. There we go. Right. I didn't even realise I had um, a new king, to be honest. And he is married, but he's got no kids. Brilliant. You're fairly popular. Um, I could hold games, but it's not the end of the world. Fridgy's definitely winning this war now. Oh no, apparently it's not. Even though it's got the territory here, it's not winning the war. And the sluices look like they're regaining land, slowly. They're losing a lot of money, though. Um, no, Liburn, you cannot have military access. Oh, no! The um, guy in charge of the navy's dead. Is this someone better than five? Because navies are very important to me. It's Charon is, yeah, but we can get, like, a really good... We can get some pretty good generals if we wanted to. Um, yep, yeah, and employed, please. Gender, male, charonic, grand citizenship, excellent. We now have someone a lot better in charge. There we go. Egypt wants to trade in earthenwork. Yep, it can have it. It can take all of its earthworks that it needs. I wish I'd kind of broken up some of these um, smaller nations that are like, so they're not allied to Phrygia, but I didn't have the um, the power to do it, the military power at the time. And now, but I've got a lot of land out of it, so I can't really come complain. Um, you're still not going, you're going down like slightly, but not a lot. And um, Barata, where's Barata then? Barata's here. 
convert. Well, I would like to assimilate more people, to be honest. Tribes, people. They'll be hold. Held, not hold. That's terrible English, Pope. Okay, so now Barat is not a problem. It's now Marissa or Papa, which is up there. So, we do more converting. It's going to be a lot of converting in this episode, it would seem. Because this is not a happy population. Yep, trade more, why not? Right, you still unhappy? Yeah, but not as much as you were earlier. It's probably because of aggressive expansion and other stuff. But, okay. Um, Adonis or Tyros? I think both of them are still in the same. I'm going to go with Tarsus. Tarsus can have the problems. Um, who's not... Oh, you're just... Nikaeus just... Nikaeus is just not healthy. Oh, it's got like a load of people in it, that's why. Wow. Splendid event. Excellent. Cool. I need more granaries. It's got no granaries at all. Wow. I might just let the population starve, to be honest. They're all, they're all slaves. I don't really need them. Um, okay, so he died. Oh, we're getting like all these guys here are just dying now. They're all really old. Old. And crippled. Shouldn't be mean to them. Gotta respect your elders, people. Uh, Marissa, okay, so. I'm also just talking rubbish while I'm waiting for like st other stuff to do. But we're getting there. Okay, right. Um, I would like. I don't know, Fort Defense we now have two of. Not that great. Um, nothing to help that. So I'm going to put Fort Defense up, I think. Nothing that can really help bonus stuff yet. I might want to bring down trade route costs um, and bring down monthly, monthly tyranny. But can't really do anything about that yet. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to go for um, National Unrest, bring this down temporarily. So hopefully this will... Yep, see, that's now sent that way up. But obviously this is still not sorted. So Usanda is another place that... Usada is another place that is still not happy. So we'll just... I'm making all these people Macedonians, but not Hellenic. That's probably the problem. Uh, donations much, um, much appreciated. Yeah, sure. There we go. So they're getting there. They are slowly getting there. And then Mystia is another place that needs sorting out. Yeah, and that's all my all my points gone. So we'll leave it at that. So it's looking a lot better now. But obviously that's only because of that um, um, the unrest. Uh, I want to say the national unrest thing. Blessing of Ta Taishi. However you say that. Uh, Taik, possibly. I'm not sure. Probably, like I said, butchering these names. But um, let's build some more stuff. Maybe another granary impeller. Um, could build a fortress somewhere up here. I'll build one in there. So that's now like another front line that we can defend. Egypt wants... Wow, we're trading a lot with Egypt. I think Egypt is definitely going to be a sort of a... Well, not necessarily an ally, but... Going to be certainly a way of getting a lot of money in. And take out Phrygia, and then we can swoop down into Egypt probably next. Because Egypt can get fairly strong. Like, look at that. 403 cohorts. Disgusting. It is actually disgusting. And then we need to go east into the broken up parts of the world and take out what is going to be left of the Seleucids, whatever that is. And hopefully these guys haven't also decided to expand westwards because they've got plenty of land they can deal with. They don't need to go after me. Not after me anyway, but after the Greek. After the Greeks. That's the one. Anyway, so we'll uh, build a few more things. Build some more. More manpower is always a good idea. There we go. More manpower. 
have a granary as well. Basically just building everywhere now that I've uh, just occupied. Because what else is there better to do? All right. There we go. There we go. Spent more money. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this... Ooh. They, have they turned the war around? Oh my gosh, actually. No, they are winning the war by a lot. So shows their superiority. Fridge is winning that. That's probably actually good because Fridge is the weaker one than Egypt. I'd rather them win it. And then we can see what happens. But we'll have to wait until the next episode, guys, I think, for that. So if you've enjoyed... Oh, this guy's died. I'll just quickly point this. I'll pause it so no more people can die as well. But yeah, if you've enjoyed, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now.